Hey, hey. Good morning. It's Thursday. Lord, thank you for payday. <sighs> KJ's Amazon account needs a refill. <laughs> oh my word, you guys. I'm wicked ADD this morning. I have not been able to focus. Hey, Tracy. Hey, Caitlin. Hey, Cindy. I have just been all over the place. You should have seen me trying to go live up here in the kitchen. I could not figure out why I couldn't connect to my camera. I'm messing and messing and messing with my camera and I'm like, it's not working. What is wrong? I can't. It's not finding it. It's saying no camera found. I'm like, I don't understand. And then I realized I hadn't even, um, turned on my camera or taken it out of the package. It was still down there in the package, you know, in its, in its case, that's the word. Lord have mercy. Tell ya. I'm, I'm wicked all over the place this morning. I'm having a really hard time focusing. And it started off because it's Tilly Ramsey's fault. I was gonna, like, I had a plan this morning. I'm gonna make a frappuccino, get out my ingredients. I, my kitchen's already clean, so I don't have to worry about it. Get myself together, get my ingredients, then go do my treadmill. And then I get a notification. Tilly Ramsey is live on Instagram. And she's answering questions live. And I have to go watch Tilly Ramsey. Like, I care about Tilly Ramsey. She's sweet, but really? And then I was like staring at Tilly Ramsey for five minutes, 10 minutes, 15, maybe 20. And I'm like, oh, I've got to go. Why am I sitting here? All right. So today's going to be one of those days. I'm a little, my, I can feel my, I can feel when my head is not focused. And my head today is like, I don't know how to explain it. Some days when I wake up. I can feel the chaos inside my brain right here and it's just <sighs> all right so today we're going to make frappuccino hi Kim she's waving hi I know focus KJ focus. and it might be in part that it's like 87 degrees in here why? Speaking of which, I need to turn the heat pump down. It's so hot, I can't breathe. Holy cow. Wondering why I'm sweating. I'm literally sweating like a criminal sitting in the front pew. All right. Frappuccinos. Let's make a frappuccino. I definitely have fuzzy brain today, Pam. Wicked fuzzy brain. Maybe I need my sunflower less of them. You know what? I attribute it to is yesterday I had my coffee for breakfast. I always have coffee for my snack. Always. Okay. It's always my three o'clock snack is coffee. Yesterday I decided to have um, what did I have? What did I have? It wasn't coffee. Oh, I had a, a, a pina colada, um, you know, from Trim Healthy Future. I had the pina colada, not the shake, but the drink. It's a fuel pole. I had a pina, pina colada drink. And ever since then, my brain has not been right. Maybe it's the shrinker, Sherry. Maybe the shrinker shrunk my brain yesterday. I drank the shrink. I sh I drank the shrink. Maybe it shrunk my brain. All right, focus, KJ. You need to make something. All right, I'm gonna make a frappuccino. Somebody messaged me and said, I have a friend, and she's doing trim healthy, and she is addicted to mocha frappuccinos. Do you have a recipe for one? And I said, No. As a matter of fact, I don't. But I can attempt it and see how it comes out. So I wrote down what I thought might be in a frappuccino and I'm going to try it. So I know it needs to be strongly brewed coffee. So let's go with strongly brewed coffee. I almost did espresso, but I think I'm going to do strongly brewed. I'm going to put it on strong brew. If you don't have a ninja, it's okay. Go get one. Just kidding. 
I'm just gonna use a pod. I got some dark French Colombian, or French Colombian. I've got Colombian, which is dark. So, but if you don't have one of these, just just brew a hot, an, an extra dark cup of coffee. I'm gonna put it on rich, and I'm gonna do eight ounces of rich coffee. All right. I hope it comes out. Y'all are excited for Frappuccinos. I hope it works. Now what? I need my blender. I moved to Brenda to the side because my husband is having a fit because it's always in getting messed up with the, always getting caught on the paper towels. I can't stand it where it is. Can you move it? All right. I'll move Brenda, although I think you should move your stupid paper towels, but I'll get over it. No, I'm not going to make a syrup base. Um, no. Yeah, I just moved Brenda to the side. But she's got, she's got, I put slider things on the bottom of her when I bought her, so she slides back and forth easy. All right, so I'm going to need a quarter cup of unsweetened almond milk or cashew. Or walnut, or pecan, 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 whatever, whatever. Hey, Kathy Cummins. I should make a syrup base some point, Tracy, though, because I have red. You can make that healthy. So I could do that. Make the syrup base for the frappuccino. Well, I'm not going to do it. Listen, Tracy, I'm making a frappuccino. Slow down. Oh, shoot. I got whole beans from unrest yesterday. I could have ground those. Cindy, they're just little stick-on, like, you know those slider things you put under your couch? Those, like, big discs you put under your couch or under your TV stand to slide it easy? They're, like, itty-bitty tiny ones that stick on the bottom of your appliances or anything that doesn't slide easy. So then you just pull it and it slides. All right, I'll put a link out on my Amazon. Should I make a frappuccino? If I make a frappuccino syrup, it's going to be too hot to make my blended. I'm not going to I'm not going to do that today. I'll do it another time, Tracy. You remind me, don't let me forget. I know you won't. All right. And then I'm going to put a quarter cup of half and half. I know that sounds like a lot, but it's really only seven grams of fat. It's not that much. Okay, so calm down. Don't, if you use heavy cream, do half of that. Okay, half of that. There is no difference between a frozen cappuccino and a frappuccino. It's the same thing. Frappuccino is just a fancy way of saying frozen cappuccino. I can't wait to hear how your marshmallows come out, Tracy. I'm also making an omelet in a mug, Cindy. You could make that right in a, in a hotel room. All right, what else? Cup of ice. One cup of ice. Yep, putting it right back in my drawer wet. It's okay. It's all right. It ain't gonna hurt nothing. Tablespoon and a half. I'm gonna put, I put a tablespoon and a half of cocoa. This would be much better if you did this with cold coffee, which is why I'm going to go get some more ice. I wasn't thinking. A little bit more ice and put it in my um, coffee because I don't want to put hot coffee in with my frappuccino. It'll turn it to, to So yes, it's probably gonna water down my coffee a little bit, but that's okay. Don't worry. I'm just gonna put enough ice in there to cool it down because I don't want hot, I don't want hot coffee in my frappuccino. It'll turn it to liquid. All right. Sweetener, gentle sweet. Let's do, I don't think I 
think I need that anymore. Let's do two tablespoons of gentle sweet. You could use swerve if that's what you got. This has got to be sweet. Got to be. Got to be sweet. MCT oil. I'm going to put... Oh, I can use this. I'm going to put about, um, for me, about a teaspoon. If you're new to THM, don't put a whole teaspoon. Start with a little bit. All right. What else? That's it. Just my coffee. That's all I'm going to put in. See, is my coffee cold yet? No. Almost. I just don't want to put it in there blistering hot. I dump out a little bit before it overflows. Because if I put it in there blistering hot, it will melt. MCT, it's more of a health benefit than it is anything else, but it's also going to help make this creamy. MCT oil, when it's blended up, gets creamy in coffee. So it's going to help with the creaminess. And I'm glad you asked me what MCT because it reminded me I need my brain food. This is not crucial to the recipe, but it's crucial to your brain health. Sunflower less than Put that in there. Now this doesn't have any protein, so this is not a meal. It doesn't have any real, I mean it has fat from the cream, but it doesn't have any um, real protein or anything. Let me sit that there because I'm going to use that. All right. Um, I want to use, I think, I tried to do all my measurements. Like I looked at a real Frappuccino recipe, and I want to get my measurements similar because if I don't, I'll get liquid and not iced coffee, you know, frappuccino. So I'm only going to do two thirds of a cup of coffee. And then I'm going to sit that cup of coffee over here and I'm going to drink it later. Right, I'm going to sit it right there. And I'm going to make myself an iced coffee later with that leftover coffee. So don't anybody panic that I'm leaving a dish out. <laughs> All right, there's my frappuccino recipe. Smells like chocolate. And now I'm going to blend it. And I pray it comes out right. Maybe I'll need more ice. I don't know. We're going to find out. Let's see. Come on, Brenda. I unplugged her by mistake. Oh, now she got to power up. Yes, stealth mode. I hear ya. Put it on. I didn't want it on that. I wanted it on that. Nope. I didn't want it on that either. I wanted it on what do I want it on? Ice cream. I don't know. It looks really liquidy. I think I'm going to need more ice. And I always do this. See? I'm so bad at Frappuccino. I've tried it. How many times have I tried this and screwed it up? I mean, Ooh, it tastes good. I just sound like a cartoon character when I say that. Ooh! Yeah, you could absolutely do espresso with this. Yum. All right. And the next thing before I pour that, <coughs> before I pour that, I'm going to take. I've got little um, cubes of frozen cho handy chocolate syrup. So you can, if you've got handy chocolate syrup in your fridge, if you don't, you need to make some and freeze it in cubes and put it in your freezer and have it all the time. Melt 
melt it down. Oh, I think I need to blend it a few more seconds. I'm going to screw it up now. Yes, Tracy, I do, unless it fails and then I don't. I'm just going to blend it a few more seconds. I just feel like I need to. silicone like I use I have little ones that are like octagons or something like that one of y'all sent me and I love them I need whipped cream gonna have whipped cream all right chocolate syrup all right let's try this handy chocolate syrup is in trim healthy cookbook Cheryl it might be on Google too. Sometimes if you look on Google, you'll find these recipes too. That, that, cause sometimes the sisters share them out. So if they're on Google, you'll see them there. So I'm gonna handy chocolate syrup on the end. Cause this is a mocha. Come on, don't splatter out. Don't come out in a big pile on me. Poor, poor girl. Oh man, it's splattering everywhere. Come on, I'm afraid it's all gonna come out in one big gob and splash all over my counter. Miss the cup. Oh man, that looks really good. I've got it everywhere. I miss the cup like half the time. Okay. Put a little whipped cream on there. Oh no! Wrap on a cracker. Well, that would have been prettier with whipped cream. Put them out. Maybe when I get my pamper chip whipped cream maker, I could have whipped some right up. Did I already get a straw? I feel like I already got a straw. What did I do with it? Put it in a sink. Gross. I'm not going to drink out of that. All right. It looks good. Mm. Oh man, that's divine. I'm gonna put that there. I gotta clean it out because I'm gonna use it later today. Oh man. Oh, brain freeze. Oh man, that's so good. I am. I'm going to do it right now, Amory. Because that's not breakfast. That's not breakfast. Yes, that should be rule number one. Cat, I need to add that to my to-do list. Always have whipped cream in the fridge. I cannot believe You know why I'm out of whipped cream? Because there's a 14-year-old in this house that put whipped cream on ice cream yesterday. Unacceptable, Marin Grace. Unacceptable. Stealing my whipped cream. Listen, get your own dang whipped cream. You get an allowance. All right. Now I'm going to make an egg mug. Let's get a big mug. Big mug. This is a big mug. And you want to spray it good whenever you make an egg mug. Spray it with cook. Have you ever made egg mugs? Am I the only one that's ever made egg mugs? Egg mugs are so good. I was thinking about doing a whole list of different flavored egg mugs because they're so good. They're so good. All right, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put two eggs in the bottom of a mug. Oh, that's an egg shell. Yes, spray the mug. Pick out your eggshells. I saw one. Where did it go? Oh, oh! I got it. I got it. All right. Gonna need a knife. Gonna need a fork. Soon I'll be having my little whisker that I can use from Pampered Staff. My little. Yeah. 
I literally have to empty my entire kitchen this weekend. I literally, that's my goal for the weekend, is I have to go through all of my cabinets and get rid of stuff because Camper Chef is bringing me a new kitchen. All right. You're probably gonna have to deliver it on a truck. All right, couple of pieces of sausage. This is turkey sausage. I buy turkey sausage not because it's better, because it's not, but because it's lean and I can have it with an E or an S. So, oh my gosh, Mary. Y'all, there was a lot of Pamper Chef orders. Can I just say that? My stomach. See, if you don't have MCT oil regularly, do not put that in there by, and drink it by itself. And if you, even if you eat MCT normally, you shouldn't drink it without food because that is wrecking my stomach already. My stomach with MCT, I love MCT oil, like in my coffee and stuff, but I have got to have it with food. And if I don't, bleh, and all of a sudden I feel bleh, we're not gonna have a repeat where I got all gaggy and sweaty that other time, I promise. All right, I'm just dicing this into little chunks to put in my eggs. I'm going to put a jalapeno because I have an entire bag because I did the exact same thing as Katie McReynolds did on the same day that Katie McReynolds did it. I meant to order a jalapeno and I ordered an entire pound of jalapenos. An entire pound. I'm good thing I plan on making pepper jelly this weekend. That's another one of my goals. Somehow I need to find time to clean out my kitchen and make hot pepper jelly. And a lot of it because I have a whole pound of jalapenos to use and these things do not weigh a lot so a pound of jalapenos is a ton of jalapenos <laughs> you don't have to put the jalapeno in here Sherry you can leave it out I have you had hot pepper jelly because it's not that spicy you're gonna get rid of all the you're getting rid of all this stuff. And did you know that if you take jalapenos and you soak them in, there's something, baking soda? I have to look it up. There's something that if you soak the jalapenos in overnight in your fridge, they take all the spiciness out. It takes all the spiciness out. Listen, Sebastian, you ain't gonna want this. Trust me, my friend. I'm dicing this really tiny. And I'm, no, you cannot have a piece of the jalapeno. I know your mouth is watering. I can feel it on my foot. You should go drool somewhere else. You're not, because if one of these falls on the floor, you are not going to be happy with me, Sebastian. You're going to be running around, rubbing your face on the carpet, blaming mama. All right, half a jalapeno. You don't have to put that in there if you don't want. You don't have to. But I want to. You could put a tomato in there. You could put whatever you want in there. I'm gonna put a little bit of spinach. Just a little bit. Do you want a piece of spinach? Would you like a piece of spinach, Sebastian? I don't know that you'll eat it, but we can try. I can tell I don't want that stem in there. All right, you come say hi to the ladies and have a piece of spinach. From Healthy Doggo, look at that. Oh, Really? <laughs> now he feels all guilty and he just rubbed up against me to say, sorry, Mom, he chewed it all up. And spit it on the floor. Sebastian, come now. That's not acceptable. He chewed it all out my spit it on the floor. Alright, a little bit of cheese. It's like a 
couple tablespoons. You can put more, you can put less. It's yours. Oh God, Sandy, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. That is like a punch in the gut. It is the worst thing in the world, putting your pet down. I'm so sorry. We had to do that with my sweet boy Ripley. And I'm telling you, I still haven't gotten over it and it's been eight years and I will never get over it. And when Sebastian comes to that point, it's not going to be pretty. I, I just, oh, I don't even want to talk about it. All right. Mix it all up. There we go. All mixed. I'm going to stick it in the microwave just like this. Now listen. It's a good idea to put it on a plate. They don't always boil over. They usually don't, but sometimes they do. So it is a wise idea to put it on a plate. Unless you feel like playing in your microwave and then that's entirely up to you. One minute and then I'm going to stir it up. All right, let's get rid of it. I'm going to waste the other half of that. I'm not going to keep half a jalapeno. I have an entire pound in my fridge. So I'm not going to keep half a jalapeno. I hear you, Sarah. It's tired. It's terrible. It's horrible. There is nothing worse. Okay, one minute, and it starts to look like this. I put my spoon in the sink like a fool. It start. It's half cooked. See, I got goo in the bottom, and it's starting to cook on the top. So then I. That's when I break it up again. All up. One more minute. Wait it out. Put some caramel or peanut butter extract in in this. It would be awesome. Yeah, I can, Gabrielle. It's from. Um, it is from. Uh, Glenda Groff. Um, all around the family table. Around the family table? All around the family table. Is there an all in front of around the family table? Who am I asking? There's nobody over there. Why am I looking over there? My cookbook's not even over there. Somebody else will have to answer. I think it's around the family table. Um, did you order your blend tech from Amazon? No, I did not. I ordered it straight from blend tech. The, the warranty to me was worth it, but um, I looked on Amazon. I was looking at them last night because somebody asked me about them. They were like $11.99 on Amazon. They're $7.99 on Blendtec. So Blendtec's website, Sherry, they're only, only. Right now, they're on sale. Maybe they're on sale on Blendtec. They're $7.99 and it's free shipping. So that's what I paid for mine. Too much worth it. All right. She's done. It's beautiful. So listen, I could plop this out on a plate and eat it, but it would be ugly. And then y'all are going to be like, ew. Cause look, I mean, it's not exactly pretty plopped in there. So keep it in your mug and eat it out of your mug. See, let me get some hot sauce. Oh, it's not opening because it's not open. It's my new bottle, hot sauce. Gotta have hot sauce on your eggs or ketchup, one or the other. I'm all out of ketchup and I keep forgetting to order it. All right. No, I didn't get it from Bed Bath & Beyond, Tracy. I got it. I got my Blendtec from, from Blendtec. 
Yes, girl. Hots. Hey, Andrea. I made a muffin in a mug. Uh, nope, I didn't. I made a uh, omelet in a mug, an egg mug, and a mocha frappuccino. All right. Let me bite into this and show you. See, it's like a little, oh, I was like, oh my gosh, there's a hair in there. It's not a hair, it's cheese. <laughs> I was like, oh, I just pulled a great big hair out of my eggs on video and it wasn't a hair. Whew. That would have been gross. Not that I haven't done it before. That's what it looks like. Hot, hot. It's hot, hot. It's like a thousand degrees in the middle. So first, that cool. Mmm. Jalapenos are yummy in there. All right, that's it. Omelet in a mug, super easy. I can make, if you guys like these, if you think this is something you'd like, I can come up with more recipes for these because it's so versatile. You can make a pizza one, you can make an eggs benedict one, you can make so many, there's so many opportunities to make amazing omelets in a mug. So, <laughs> it was cheese, Bonnie, it's okay. I just thought it was a hair, but <laughs> it wasn't. Ooh. My fridge isn't closing well because it's too full. All right, guys, there we go. Frappuccino, muffin in a mug. That's it. Easy peasy. All right, guys, thank you for joining me this morning. Listen, if you're interested in group coaching, check out my website, www.joyfullifewithkj.com. I have five different classes coming up over the fall and winter. And if you're part of my group coaching, you automatically get a free seat in those. And they're live on Zoom, interactive. They're going to be fun. So if you're interested in that, go sign up for coaching. Um, what else? Oh, I posted a couple short videos yesterday that you might find interesting. One for glucky pudding. Tells you all about glucky pudding, why it's good for you, and how to make it right. And it's just a short video. And I also made one for the best mashed potato substitute in the whole world. Delicata squash and how to make whipped delicata. And it's so, so good. So go check that out on YouTube. If you're watching on YouTube, please hit the like button, share all that jazz. Comment hashtag replay if you're watching this later. That's all I got to say about that. All right, guys, I love you all. Have a blessed day. I will see you back later today at some point, I'm sure. And yeah, all right. I can't think of anything else to say other than it's Thursday and why are you going off plan on Thursday? You ain't. You ain't. You don't need to go off plan on a Thursday. No. No. You don't need to go off plan on a Thursday, so stay on plan. All right. 